A major employer in Fargo announces another round of layoffs. And an exclusive and undercover look inside a rave. Good evening, everyone. A serious drug problem is flooding the Red River Valley. According to police, so-called club drugs are filtering into the area with a resurgence of the rave scene. A rave is an all-night techno dance party, and earlier this month, WDAY6 reporter Lisa Curl went undercover to a rave in rural Richland County. Lisa joins us live with the first of a series of reports you'll see only on WDAY. And Lisa, what did you see? Dana, basically it's a big dance party. To some, it might seem strange to see 350 people dancing on a farm in rural North Dakota, but some of those people were doing more than just dancing. Drug officers say every time they go undercover to a rave, they bust several people with drugs. When I went undercover, I saw firsthand why police target these events. Just outside Kindred in rural Richland County, you can hear the music thumping from a mile away. A gravel road leads partygoers to an event that attracts some from as far as Minneapolis and Duluth. In a Quonset on this farmstead, an all-night techno dance party is in high gear. And plenty of people are high on drugs, according to an undercover drug officer. Oh yeah, there's, there's a lot of kids that are messed up. I would say probably at least 40% of the kids here are on ecstasy or high. Many people here are dancing drug-free just to have fun, but some we talk to say they're either on drugs or looking to buy some. I just want to go get some beer so I can smoke some weed. <laughs> the weed wore off like halfway here. According to police, marijuana and alcohol make up the majority of drug busts at local raves, but that's not all that's out here. Whether it's ecstasy or, or LSD, the acid, um, marijuana, alcohol, it's available. Richland County it's Sheriff us. Kim Murphy says he's never seen a rave without drugs. Were there drugs in plain view out there? Yes. Did our undercover officers see it out there? Yes. Seven people were busted for drugs and alcohol this night. This is what cops confiscated in just a few hours. These are 13, 14, 15, 18 year old kids out there, you know, experimenting with hallucinogenic drugs. Police say ecstasy, LSD and meth are becoming common at raves. Methamphetamine uh, has, has somewhat of the same effect um, as, as the ecstasy on, on the kids. They'll continue to dance for six or seven or eight hours. Uppers give dancers energy. A stimulant like ecstasy can suppress the need to eat, drink, or sleep, but has dangerous side effects. Oh, elevated blood pressure, elevated temperature. Basically, the kids cook from the inside out. People have died from overdoses at raves around the country, but listen how some kids tell us Fargo is somehow sheltered from drug users getting killed or especially getting caught. Fargo seems pretty safe, though. Most of these kids just seem like really naive. Huh? Undercover officers say out-of-town dealers can triple their drug sales here. Average price? 25 bucks a hit. Tomorrow, hear from a DJ who says local rave organizers promote music, not drugs. Drugs are a problem with society, not rave culture. And the sheriff says the drug problem at raves in Richland County has only gotten worse. Dana and Kirsten, police estimate around 25 raves have been held in the area since the late 90s. And Lisa, these drugs are just in plain view there? Marijuana was smoked openly. A few times I saw a small tin pass between a couple people. They swallowed what looked like pills and kept on dancing for hours. A DJ who helped create the local rave scene will address the drug issue tomorrow on WDAY 6 News at 10. Thank you, Lisa. Lisa Kroll reporting live for us tonight. A Minnesota man is dead after falling while working on power lines. But West Fargo site finally see the cleanup begin. A neighborhood called Raves attract music lovers, but police say they're a magnet for drugs. Good evening, everyone. It's promoted as a drug-free dance party, but police say they arrest users and dealers at every rave they go to. WDAY6 reporter Lisa Crow went undercover to a rave. She joins us live with a special report tonight. And Lisa, what attracts DJs to plant a farm in, of all places, North Dakota? Money. A local DJ says he shells out lots of money to attract big city DJs. But police say raves also attract drugs like ecstasy and LSD. 
Last night, you heard from people at the rave who talked about selling LSD and how they tripled their drug profits here. But the DJ who put out this flyer advertising the rave clearly states here, no drugs. He says the dance party is about music, not illegal drug use. I came here to go to college and there's nothing to do in Fargo. There's nothing going on here. So I was like, why don't I do this, you know? Known to techno fans as DJ Mental Floss, Jason Matura has been instrumental in creating the local rave scene. Since the mid-90s, he's attracted DJs from as far as New York and L.A. to play in rural North Dakota. That's part of the attraction for them. They don't get to play at these events anymore. Matura says this rave held in a Quonset in rural Richland County is a dying breed. These techno concerts are being pushed into bars and clubs rather than barns and warehouses because of a crackdown on raves nationwide. Raves have gotten a bad rap, Matura says, because of negative media attention and the minority of drug users at raves, like the incident that happened at a rave in Cass County a while back. One kid out of like 600 kids took some LSD and got lost in a field. And he was out there all night and nothing happened to him. They found him the next day, but it made big news stories and the venue didn't want his name associated with that kind of thing. Matura says drugs have nothing to do with raves, and he says cops posing as partygoers should not target these events. And they shouldn't, because they're not there to have fun. They're not there to have a good time. They're not there to see that DJ. They're there to ruin people's nights. There's narcotics that are being distributed. There's narcotics that are being used. This undercover drug officer says kids as young as 13 are taking hallucinogens at raves. It only took a few hours to confiscate all these drugs and arrest seven people at this rave. Matura says kids will be kids no matter what event they're at. You know, these kids are in the like, self-discovery phase with music and uh, just finding out who they are and everything. And you know, with that comes experimenting. Matura says he pays a private security company lots of money to deal with drug issues. But some here joke about security. The security agent we talked to at the rave says there is no drug problem here. I've never actually confiscated drugs from anybody. Paraphernalia, but never actual, like, here's a pound of, you know, whatever. It's been a pipe here or whatever, you know, nothing real big. Because this crowd of kids is so well self-policed that they don't want these things shut down. This gal obviously knew, you know, that, yep, there's drugs here. You know, we have taken paraphernalia. We're just going to look the other way. Which is why the Richland County Sheriff says he'll require any future raves to have different security guards on site. And the security that was there did not do an adequate job. A absolutely not. Yo, 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 you're in. Yeah. A $20 wristband gets you in. While we stood at the entrance to the rave for 30 minutes, no one checked backpacks or purses. Matura says the police themselves have done security in the past and now refuse. He says he doesn't condone drug use, but doesn't want undercover cops at his event either. As I understand from like an, you know, an adult society perspective that like these drugs are a problem, you know, they're, I mean, geez, what if someone died or something that, that would be just terrible and affect me for the rest of my life. And, it needs to stop for that reason, but, you know, it's, you like to think you're free in America. Sheriff Murphy says he'll put more pressure on future raves, and the police know plenty of people who attend raves are just having fun without drugs. But Murphy says since people have died from drug overdoses at raves around the country, he's going to insist a doctor or ambulance be present. Tomorrow, Dana and Kirsten, I'll show you how club drugs are disguised, even made to look like candy, and what they do to your body. Thanks, Lisa. Lisa Crow reporting live tonight. Tonight, the Fargo School District is mourning the loss of board member Blake Miller. Miller was driving to Bismarck for a school board conference when he hit an ice for <laughs> slid off the road and hit a concrete signpost. Miller was the newest member of the Fargo School Board, elected just a few months FM area. This techno dance party is a typical rave. It's 4 a.m. and hundreds of people pack into this Quonset in rural Richland County. No doubt some are dancing drug-free, but the loud something beat, flashing lights, and glow sticks are an attraction for club drug users like this girl. I don't, I don't know why. I do like Stimulants are most often the drug of choice. Users of the popular rave drug Ecstasy become mesmerized by a trail of lights from glow sticks. If you look closely, you can see the young man waving glow sticks in front of someone sitting in a chair. To enhance the hallucinogen's effect, some wipe Vicks VapoRub inside a dust mask. The effects of Ecstasy, um, it basically makes your, makes your body feel like it's tingling. 
and they'll put Vicks vapor rub or, or that type of thing on 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 their you know above their eyes or under their nose that sensation of the Vicks will add to the the intensity of the high this officer is one of several undercover drug agents who attended the same rave we did earlier this month he says along with alcohol nearly half the people here are using meth marijuana or ecstasy several drugs were confiscated drug addiction counselors say ecstasy provides stamina for a seven-hour dance party but the pleasant high the drug provokes can cause long-term depression memory loss and brain damage and across the country ecstasy users have died of dehydration what do you have? Uh, we got Red Bull and water. Raves commonly sell highly caffeinated energy drinks and lots of water. The one rave, uh, after it was over with, uh, the police were out there and the cars left and everybody left. It was just littered with uh, water bottles. Drug addiction counselor Brad Brown says designer drugs are stamped with the producer's signature. Chicago uses the Nike Swish. Sioux Falls, South Dakota uses the Buddha. Undercover cops see it too. Anything from a smiley face to a um, Oldsmobile symbol to a Mercedes symbol to a, you know, a butterfly. To fool police, parents, maybe even other partiers, pills are sometimes passed on as breath mints. Drugs are even disguised as stickers. Blotter acid is liquid LSD soaked onto perforated sheets and torn off like stamps. Dissolved on the tongue or in a sugar cube, candy can be transformed into a harmful drug. And nowadays, innocent items could be considered drug paraphernalia, like glow sticks, dust masks, that Vicks vapor rub you saw, pacifiers, even lollipops. A good resource for more information about club drugs is the National Institute on Drug Abuse. You can log on to our website and click on the club drugs link. Dana Kirsten. Lisa, thank you. Lisa Kroll reporting live for us tonight. Fargo sold its.